tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Good evening, everyone. Uh, happy Wednesday once more. And uh, tonight, we'll start a new subset series derived from our uh, elementary feng shui or uh, uh, lessons what, that we can learn from the elements uh, about ourselves in feng shui. No? So there are five elements in Chinese uh, feng shui philosophy, wood, uh, earth, fire, metal and water no not necessarily in uh, uh, that order uh, the, what we are emphasizing here is the lesson now of uh, vibes no? feng shui vibes so in relation to personal relations the key to life is always smooth interpersonal relations in layman's terms we want peace of mind with our co-employees, with our friends, with our peers, with our partners in progress. No? So to understand ourselves better and other people better, the key to this in Feng Shui is knowing your personal element and relate it with the element of uh, your partner, be it in business, be it in friendship, or be it in love life. So these three facets uh, are applicable. In business, it can go into other micro dynamics. Like if you're a salesperson, when you do prospecting, you can shift your prospective clients to only those clients you are Maka vibes with or uh, compatible with your elements so as to be efficient and not to waste time and effort in your uh, daily grind, in your struggle to do sales. Okay? So when we speak of sales, it's a plethora spectrum of all sales uh, dynamics from real estate, from ordinary uh, suki in your uh, sari sari store uh, or any other uh, buy and sell uh, relationship in the market under the laws of supply and demand okay so i would endeavor the format for tonight we will uh, vary from uh, the usual so i would like to request you to be ready with your pen and paper to take notes for each element so we will focus now on lucky relationships uh, with whose elements uh, best to deal with no? or to relate with in your life no? later on we will discuss yung mga what to avoid naman yung malas or the unlucky uh, elements so for you to be able to absorb and understand and apply what's important is for you to be able to apply it in your life to hasten your progress no? with uh, uh, what they call in Feng Shui uh, harmonious progression towards prosperity. Uh, paano ako kaya yayaman on you in terms of uh, compatibility no? Feng Shui. Okay? So our acronym Pack You series no? uh, on uh, uh, how to choose compatible customers, partners, even in love life. Okay? So this is applicable generically for all facets of your life. Let's start with the first element. Uh, not necessarily in that order, in the cycle of uh, uh, things, but for academic purposes, let's start with the wood element. Okay? What is important is to really imbibe and appreciate uh, the productive cycle of the five elements in Feng Shui. Okay? So, the productive cycle will be 
wood produces fire, just like firewood, no? And fire produces ashes, it produces, ashes is equal to dust or earth, no? So wood, fire to earth. And beneath the earth, it, the minerals develop, so when we mine the earth, we derive metals, okay? So earth produces metal. So we have already the four element cycle and the fifth element, uh, any metal, when we distill it in the laboratory, uh, we produce water, okay? And from water, we continue with the productive cycle again. Uh, water induces the growth of wood or vegetation. Huh? So that's the five element cycle. Keep that to heart because this will be the key to all your human relationships in Feng Shui. In order to be successful, harmonious, and progressive. Okay? The concept is if you have the same element, let's say your wood, you deal with a classmate or a batchmate who is born in the same year and uh, with the same element of wood, you're magka vibes. You think alike, you tend to agree faster. And when you agree faster, you progress together faster. You reach your goals as a team faster, okay? And when you reach your goals, in the dictionary, it's simply called prosper, to prosper, or prosperity. So very simple equation, no? Uh, in order to prosper, you reach your goals. But in order to you reach your goals together, uh, especially as a team, be it uh, uh, bipartis- uh, bilateral, dalawa lang kayo, or multilateral, you have to choose the elements of your partners very well. So you will uh, second the motion of each other and reach your goals quickly and progressively. So this is where the miracle occurs. You'll wonder, you'll see people, sometimes they are of opposite signs. No? In the Chinese soldier, conflicting signs, yet they progress together. Okay? You can see like a uh, uh, former tycoon, uh, Danding Koanko, who was a uh, year of the pig, no? uh, dealing with, uh, let's say, uh, his right hand windman uh, in the growth of San Miguel Corporation, Mr. Ramon Ang, who is a snake. Okay, year, uh, year of the snake. Technically, if you look at the horoscopes, no can do, no? They are supposedly incompatible but there is something in the relationship that spurred progress and harmony and this is based on the elements okay so i hope this is an eye opener for you uh, normally in the market of ideas especially in feng shui in the market of knowledge or so-called feng shui industry a lot of fakers just touch on the interesting icing on the cake, which is Chinese zodiac science. Forget that in the meantime. We will tackle that later on in this series. But what is important now is for you to sink in your mind and understanding the wisdom of elementary vibes. Okay, as I described, if you're a wood person, your vibes is one that produces wood, the water element, or what you produce, the fire element, or what uh, you are the same with, wood. So you always have uh, three dimensions or parallel universes, as you call it, which you can deal with in terms of interpersonal relations. And this is also the core of our lesson in our previous uh, lectures about what element businesses you can enter in life in order to succeed and prosper. And here get we see rooster and snake are supposed to be compatible in a uh, Chinese horoscope. And 
in feng shui is totally different because the metal element is melted by the fire element so technically you are incompatible based on the elements this is where you separate chinese horoscope with feng shui and this is where feng shui becomes the cure to chinese horoscope okay so those who were disappointed let's say in marriage this is not a few huh? a lot of chinese families before they get married they go to a chinese temple especially in cebu they go to taoist temple to divine their elements no uh, or their compatibility not even elements um and the temple priest will say sorry you cannot get married because uh you are rooster and she is rabbit without even deriving the elements of both couples individually for all they know they're compatible okay so many a life or a love life has been destroyed because of poor uh uh feng shui application they just applied chinese horoscope which is ano uh, uh if i were to define it uh define it feng shui begins where chinese horoscope ends okay so appreciate that level of knowledge and wisdom feng shui begins where chinese horoscope ends So this coming Chinese New Year, you will see a plethora of literature again about compatibilities, especially in line with Valentine, love life, compatibilities. You're a bit wiser now because you know now the difference. You should be discerning on an elementary basis. Check out the right elements first. Food, uh, if food is good with water and fire, Mm-hmm. and also good with earth so that makes it for compatible elements again again if wood is good with the one behind water and forward with fire and mm-hmm. also good with earth so that makes it for compatible elements no there's always uh, just three compatible elements if you're wood you're only compatible with fellow wood uh and uh earth and uh ah yes yes you you're right uh it makes it for water will be also compatible with you only if you're wood okay that's a good question so no no more questions in the meantime uh let's proceed with the next element uh if you're uh let's continue from wood wood produces uh fire no if you're a fire element person you're compatible with the fellow fellow fire element and what produces fire will be wood no so you'll be compatible with the wood person and what you produce fire produces earth okay so tatlong dimension kaagad diyan uh fire your home room and your back room the one that produce you is a uh, wood and your forward room uh, which is a uh, uh, fire produces earth so those uh, three uh, personalities will be your good vibes okay. finally you can determine who is a uh, uh, the pasaway in the family it's the metal person okay and with that knowledge uh you can work ways and means to harmonize with each other later on at the end of this series we will tackle that but not right away now because it will just confuse you it will give you a false sense of uh, well-being okay with a false sense of pride okay any question next earth goat and fire snake earth goat and fire snake uh you're compatible because uh 
uh, fire produces earth. Okay. Uh, earth, 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 and wood. Oh, naging waiting na tayo. Earth, 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 and wood. Okay, you're all compatible because the uh, earth produces wood. Okay, but the here you can also see the dynamics with the family team like that. Earth, earth, and wood. The the number one beneficiary in the family who will grow faster than the others will be the wood person because there are two earths that support uh, him or her okay, to grow on. Earth, wood, and metal. Earth, wood, and metal. Uh, earth produces metal. You're uh, compatible. No? Uh, wood with metal, you're in conflict. Uh, earth and wood, you're compatible. So there's only one dynamic there that will be have to be addressed. Uh, the wood and metal. Fire, earth, water, metal. Fire, earth, water, and metal. So first, fire and earth are compatible. Uh, fire and water are not. Uh, fire and metal are not. So you can see uh, who are in conflict. And this is also a gateway to understanding your team. Well, there are quarrelsome teams, uh, opposing views because of clashing elements. Reason for earth and wood compatibility. Ah, reason for earth and wood compatibility is very lateral thinking and simple logic in Chinese philosophy. Wood grows out of earth. Okay, you get a a, a seed of any tree or vegetable, symbolic of the element of wood, plant it in earth it will grow. So that's where the Chinese philosophy of compatibility originates. Okay, I hope I, I simply answered your question. It takes genius to accept the obvious. That's one lesson we have to learn in Feng Shui. Sometimes we have to take things at face value beyond our discernment. Let us not overthink. Okay, any question? Earth, wood, metal, wood. Earth, wood, compatible. Uh, metal, wood, not compatible. Okay? So, this is where uh, in psychology, uh, the personal differences, personality differences occur in Feng Shui is traceable to the elements. That's why some people are not Magka vibes they really tend to counter each other. They're diametrically opposed in ideas. Like uh, metal and wood, metal tends to chop wood. And tendency, if you're a wood person with a metal partner, that person will always cut you short in argument, okay? Uh, as if you wala ka nang ginawang tama, lagi lang kokontrahin ng metal. So, you have to find ways and means on how to reconcile this. Later on, we will address this with the right Feng Shui techniques. So just when you're selling to a Chinese family, at the end of the day, real traditional Chinese families decide as a collegial body. From the younger set or the investor, it will be elevated to the Council of Elders. And ultimately, it will be even elevated to the Feng Shui Master. The Council of Elders will let the decision be left to the Feng Shui Master because the Feng Shui Master knows the Feng Shui of the elements of the family. And eventually they trust him to choose the right Feng Shui property for them. But here's an interesting classic with selling to a Chinese family, okay? I learned this when I was into uh, marketing. I was engaged in uh, Chinese communities, especially in Manila, will be familiar with the former Halik Alon uh, turned Marina Properties, now Asia World in uh, Rojas Boulevard. Sir, you don't need any remedy because first of all, 
you're very compatible by the mere fact that earth produces metal okay so this is where also you have to be careful uh the false sense of entitlement of feeling feng shui master or frustrated feng shui master just like the way you build your house frustrated architect or frustrated interior designer okay uh don't try to put in your two cents worth of opinion or what you like to hear okay so just listen to the professionals provided the professional you're talking talking to is not how show or fake okay remedy for metal and wood remedy for metal and wood okay if it's a love relationship love life there are two partners when it comes to love okay uh If you saw happen to marry you're a metal person you married wood uh we are say it or we do forensics from a feng shui viewpoint you know compatibility of fire and earth compatibility of fire and earth they're very compatible uh fire produces earth okay but uh if we will do again a feng shui forensic The earth person largely depends on the fire person. Okay. Uh his wing beneath his wings is the fire person. So no questions so far. Now other applications of this uh elementary knowledge of uh, your elements is not only in love life, not only in uh, uh business but in the ordinary relationships of a household management like hiring or firing uh an employee at home or even at work okay sometimes you have a difficult employee only for you to find out you're a fire person and that uh, difficult employee is water so you're really in conflict uh sometimes irreconcilable differences okay and the worst part is if you have a wrong hire sometimes you get betrayed and let me uh, hem you in on this especially now in pandemic economic difficulties are taking its toll down to the household level so even in an employee master or employer relationship even in a corporate setting There is a strong temptation for hard up employees to commit crimes of embezzlement, betrayal. That's why you will see uh you hear of news banks being subjected to money hastes, okay? Or even uh, uh big or small businesses uh being embezzled, cashiers run away with cash, not booking the sale uh because of survival requirements no and they will just resort to the drama that uh because of poverty they had to commit the crime so you have to be careful especially in choosing your um the elements of your your would be kasambahays or employees especially cashier level no? those who handle cash okay uh the other thing is uh even if they're trusted relative you still have to check their elements what to uh trust them or not okay but there's an aside also in feng shui practice beyond this uh to marry that okay at the timing let's tackle first the timing okay uh if bride and groom uh has certain ele- of course feng shui elements like if the bride is wood and the uh, groom is uh metal and let's say like this year coming year 2021 is a uh, metal ox it will be a good year to marry in favor of the groom the metal element okay and again that's where 
the concept of love and sacrifice comes in. No? If talagang uh, uh, they decide to marry in the year of the metal ox, a metal year, the wife has to make sacrifices in order to please the husband. Okay? Uh, others, they really want a harmonious uh, marriage, they time it, they wait. No? This is also relevant when it comes, let me digress a while, to burial. Sometimes the dead is a, let's say, a fire person. And next year is a metal year. Uh, that's why you hear unique uh, cases where sometimes the dead Chinese is buried years after death. His body is kept in a special ice uh, uh, cryogenic or freezer no? uh, for a timely burial that will be compatible with the dead person's element. Okay, I think one tycoon, I just forgot his name, um, from Taiwan, uh, the family had to keep his uh, remains in the freezer the morgue for seven years before he got buried eventually no so that's how uh, uh feng shui in relation also to the element affects the living and the dead here in uh, the philippines uh, the only application i've uh, encountered so far is for a credit grabbing boss in a bank setting uh, you have a maverick up and coming assistant, very bright. He always steals the credit until uh, with proper feng shui, that uh, subordinate without even insubordinating the boss, uh, overtook the boss as a, a superior, okay? With the respect, admiration, and recognition of everybody from the lowest level of the bank to the board okay any question uh, wood and wood couple wood and wood couple ah wood and wood couple you're very compatible okay especially if you live in a wooden house okay so none so far uh we have at least uh, five minutes to go. Um, okay, like we can uh, digress for a while. Um, when it comes to trends, I'd like to share with you uh, having a uh, in several uh, car dealerships this past week. The trend in um, the automobile industry, of course, the pa because of the pandemic in terms of uh, sales. But uh, the real bread and butter of uh, leading car manufacturers and dealerships would still really be the mid-level and high-level uh, SUVs. But catching up, especially after this uh, pandemic, Water and water, lucky activities. Ah, ah, water and water, lucky activities. So you can engage in uh, water, as I mentioned, is also a symbol of money. Although literally, a good activity will be to engage in enterprises related to water itself. Uh, mineral water, uh, refilling station, or uh, small lending, uh, cooperatives, but if you wanna, if you have full capital and uh, no restraint, where money is no object, you can go into uh, rural banking, banking and finance uh, activity. Stay tuned for the next episode only here on Big Media.